Hi, my name is Austin Ober. I am a lead propulsion test engineer at our Stennis test site. Pretty much all of our focus right now is on our ANR engine test stand. So a typical day right now is drawing review, CAD, high level design of new test stands. We're really high paced, so there's a lot of juggling between high level stuff, high level design, and the really low level stuff interfacing with new hardware. My name is Kyle Perlin, and I'm a propulsion test engineer. My ownership is currently the water tower systems. We uh, need a lot of water for our test stand in order to power a diverter to prevent our concrete you know, from getting burned up. In doing that, we need to fill the water tower. We need to pump water from the NASA site into our tower and then pump it into our diverter. I'm Greg Kurtzbar, propulsion test engineer here at the Relativity test site. I'm on the ground systems engineering Team. My name is Edward Zuniga and I'm a propulsion test engineer. I design and build a test stand here. We do all of the test stand design and build and activation. And we go outside with the wrenches and hammers and uh, try and make a thing happen. My name is Stacy Lewis. I'm a propulsion test engineer at Relativity. So I'm generally on the operations side right now with R1 test and build, um, mostly focusing on activation of that test stand at site. Hi, I'm Genevieve and I'm a propulsion test engineer at our Stennis test site. What I do is I make sure the test article, usually in the engine, is ready for test, and then I operate the engine tests on console. The most exciting part of the job, kind of those first couple of tests, so putting all the schematics together, all the drawings, pipes, all that fun stuff, but then actually seeing it work together with the hardware that a lot of the REs and Long Beach design is really great. Uh, our test stand is currently looking at our ANR engine. This is the uh, newest and greatest, pivoting from Terran 1 to Terran R. We're getting our engines soon onto the stand and actually being able to fire them and see if you know all the design work that we've done matches what we expect it to. It's still as exciting as when you're in elementary school and just dinosaurs or space or whatever. It's, it, it has that level of like base excitement. Being the person that has to figure out, okay, what's happening? Why isn't this what I expect? And figuring out a way to solve that problem. And when it works, like it's pretty exciting. Right now, I'm most looking forward to seeing the engine fire on the stand, but I also look forward to all of the additional stands that we have yet to build. Uh, it's pretty crazy how huge Paranar is. An engine itself is, is very, very large. I think almost 10 times the thrust, 10 times the power. It's bigger than a person. And I think there's a lot of exciting parameters that come with that. The first engines really flew and launched uh, and tested here. They, uh, they're, they're pretty small. This is kind of the big leagues where it's a real rocket and it's the real scale. One of the best things about testing at E1 is we're able to feel how much you know power that thing produces. The air ripples around you. You can feel like the acoustics you know pulsing on your chest. Ground shakes. You feel all of your clothes kind of like vibrating around you. It's the fire, the flame, the power. Feeling it in your chest, the sound, the dynamics of it. Knowing that that one of those is only one of 13 that's going to be put on the other end of a rocket and just realizing how much you're going to be able to do with a vehicle like that. My biggest bit of advice looking to apply to this type of job is focus on first principles. Shared knowledge is a really big thing here. We really try our best to grow together as a team. As since I've gotten here, I've felt like I've become a better engineer. You know, anyone from any background can see a lot of success if they're, they're willing to be part of the team and learn quickly.